Hi Tollies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right Tollies, and if you're already part of the family, welcome back. This video is going to be kind of like a, I don't know, a little update video. I don't know if you guys see anything different about me. But yes guys, I'm here to talk to you guys about my recent nose piercing that is about a week old now. So if you wanna know all of the details and all the stuff that you're gonna need to know about piercings, then keep on watching. Tolly, so yes, I have my nose pierced. It's been something that has dawned on me for a couple years now, but I was just really, really scared to do. So yes, I got my nose pierced last weekend with my husband Dylan. Dylan has always encouraged me, and a lot of people in my family and friends have encouraged me to get a nose piercing, but I just really felt like I just did not have the nose for it, but Something came over me last weekend and I said, okay, I think I'm actually gonna go and get my nose pierced, which is crazy. I went to Ocean Mystics Ink Gallery in Norfolk. I obviously did my reviews, I did my research, and they have like, I think a 4.3 or five star review. And they're very, very, very um, professional and knowledgeable about what they do. I went there and I kind of told them, hey, I wanna get my nose pierced and you know, it was really, really a really simple, simple process. And, you know, I got in there, I went in there, I told him, hey, I wanna get my nose pierced. I don't know what type of size um, jewelry I want as for my nose ring. And they told me that they only do for piercings is titanium. If anybody knows about titanium, titanium is a surgical metal. And once they said that they use titanium, I was sold. I was like, okay, perfect. Like, you guys are careful with this stuff. You guys don't play around. And that is what made me really, really feel comfortable with getting my nose pierced at this particular place. They gave me a lot of varieties as far as the size of the nose ring. I didn't want my nose ring to be too big, but I didn't want it to be too small. I went with the middle one, which is literally, it's not too big, it's not too small. Obviously, I work in a corporate setting, so if need be, I will change my nose ring and make it smaller if I'm, you know, in some uncomfortable situations, which hopefully won't be the case. They took my information, and then I think I waited about maybe five minutes, and then the piercer came up to me, introduced himself, and his at, his Instagram name will be down below. His name is Johnny Stabs. He was super, super you know, nice and professional. He let me know that it's a simple process. It's literally gonna take maybe two seconds. And all of my friends and family, and even my lash tech, Leah, told me that literally it is a two second process and they were not lying. It's literally two seconds. So we went inside the room. Unfortunately, I could not record the whole thing. I wish I could. He literally told me to breathe and then exhale. And then by the time I even try to exhale, he just kind of whoop, right in there and I thought the pain was gonna be really really bad but it wasn't and I'm very 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 happy I think I just over you know was overthinking about it the whole weekend like oh my gosh like the pain is gonna be unbearable and guys I can move around my nose um, I think the first two or three days there was a little bleeding inside but it wasn't anything serious they told me what was gonna happen on the pamphlet whatever that happened to me was on the pamphlet so i wasn't worried about it i just was so gentle the first day but now i'm just like it's here and it doesn't hurt guys i really really am obsessed with my nose pierce i didn't know which side i wanted to do it they always say what's your best side i really believe that my left side is my best side so i got it on my left side i'm really really happy about it to say i would go and do another piercing absolutely not i'm done i have um, a piercing here. I have both of my cartilage pierced. I have a middle here too as well and I have two down here. So in total I have seven piercings and I am done. I don't want any more. I'm good. I think the nose is just really the staple piece and I'm happy that I finally was big enough and put on my big girl pants to go ahead and get this piercing. The aftercare for the piercing, luckily Dylan had um, salt water for me. So what they tell you to do is apply salt water 
um, to a Q-tip three to five times a day. I think this salt water is from, you know, a Spencer's or a Journey's anywhere, but this is the salt water that I use. Take off the cap, I spray it around the Q-tip to make sure it's moist or wet enough. And then I just go around the top and then I go in my nostril and I go in the creases underneath. And I do this literally four times a day. I This is like clockwork. Probably need to get a new one because I feel like it's about to be empty. That is what I've been doing. I'm obsessed with my nose ring. They told me that it should be, the healing process should be like maybe two to three months. And I, I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be two to three months. I'm not gonna take out my ring. I've heard stories about people taking off their rings and it closing right away. I am not gonna do that. It will be in my nose for a long, long time until I'm ready to change my ring. And I don't think I'm probably, I'll probably change my ring, but not, not soon. The piercing was about $62 altogether, including the ring and all that, which was, you know, reasonably a reasonable price. But everything, guys, was like when I mean Dylan and I walked in at like, uh, was it like 12, 1205? We left there at like 1225. It was super quick. And luckily, we came at a time where it wasn't that busy. We, I don't know why, but I thought Friday afternoon would be a busy time for them, but it wasn't a busy time, luckily. So we were able to come in. I did not have to make an appointment. So walk-ins are welcome at this place. So that's a good thing. I really, really am obsessed with piercings. Um, I know people will probably be like, oh, nurse, nose piercings is not that serious. But to me, I think each piercing brings some type of story to me and why I love piercings. And it just brings a lot more character to me. And I don't know. I like I like piercings. I'm more of a more of a piercings girl. I'm, I'm like half and half. I have two tattoos, but I have more piercings than I have tattoos. So I'm really I'm more of a piercings girl. To anybody that wants to get their nose pierced, I definitely say to definitely do your research. Definitely thoroughly do your research and make sure whoever you're going to is you know professional and knowledgeable and you know experience in their field you don't want to go anywhere that's i guess you know a buck for your money don't do that go to someone that is knows what they're doing okay well, guys i hope you guys enjoyed my little chit chat review video about my nose ring i will see you guys soon don't forget to like share and subscribe and there'll be more content on the way thanks guys bye